Hello, my name is Sanjay Reddy and I teach economics at the New School in New York. I'm standing here in the Union Square Green Market where fruits, vegetables, plants, flowers, baked goods and other things are bought and sold. Microeconomics is among other things concerned with processes like this one. But how should we really understand the subject? Very often the subject is treated as a branch of applied mathematics and for that reason it's very frustrating for students. We hope in our approach to the subject of advanced microeconomic theory as taught at the PhD level to give due attention to the abstract methods which are usually taught but also to ask underlying questions about the premises that are made, whether they are justified, the steps which are taken in drawing conclusions and so on. In our course we will introduce the standard technical machinery which is so much emphasized in most such courses at this PhD level. At the same time, we hope, unlike the way that this course is taught in most institutions, to emphasize the underlying basis of the assumptions that are made and to introduce a critical perspective as much as possible with a view to our thinking about alternative ways of approaching the subject. In short, new economic thinking. My co-instructor, Raphael Schaap, will say more. Welcome everyone to the course. Uh, for many students, the experience of studying microeconomics can be a little frustrating. Uh, a lot of time and energy is spent mastering uh, a toolkit of theorems, axioms and proofs without spending much time to understand the significance of the results. So a student might feel a longing for a more enhanced um, and perhaps enlightened understanding about, of of microeconomics. So that's what we try to do in this course. Um, we try to show what assumptions are implicitly made in the textbook or not so implicitly made. How these assumptions uh, avoid um, or sidestep certain problems and we try to explore you know, what are the real intellectual stakes of adopting the existing framework as well as understand the historical context in which the framework was developed and whether there are dissenting voices in the field. We try to ask um, questions that are not typically asked in um, microeconomics at the graduate level. As Raphael says, we're not going to treat this subject as merely a branch of applied mathematics. We're going to draw on all of the intellectual resources which are relevant to approaching the subject in a more realistic fashion. And among other things that we hope to do is to connect the subject to adjoining subjects in the social sciences and in the natural sciences to help to understand how it could be taught better and differently. In short, what we hope to do is to bring the spirit of new economic thinking to our subject of advanced microeconomic theory. Please do join us.